and ultimately freedom through the lens of six strong women. Guiding us through this exploration is our moderator, Ms. Swati Chopra, the principal correspondent at the Quint, as she promises to foster a dialogue that not only inspires but empowers. A huge round of applause for Swati, please. We welcome Ms. Tanya Bami, a trailblazer in the world of streaming media at the series head at Netflix India. Her contribution has not only enriched the platform, but has also paved the way for diverse and compelling narratives to reach the global audience. Joining us as a distinguished speaker is one who needs no introduction. She is none other than Ms. Sunakshi Sinha, known for her versatility and compelling portrayal on screen. A huge round of applause for her, please. Ms. Sonakshi Sinha, a powerhouse of talent whose on-screen presence mesmerizes and her character resonates with Jept. Join us today to share her insight. I hand over the stage to Ms. Swati Chopra, please. Thank you so much. Hi, guys. Welcome, everyone. It's always so good to be here and exciting to have all of you here with us today as we speak about championing women's stories through in the world of streaming platforms. And I'm so glad that I have with me actor Sunakshi Sinha and Tanya Bami from Netflix. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Our pleasure. Okay, so before we go ahead and watch something really exciting, I'm gonna take the first question to Tanya. Tanya, you know, we've seen such a significant shift when it comes to portrayal of women on screen, right? And I would like to think that Netflix has a huge part to play in it because we've seen some exciting stuff from y'all. Uh, if I had to mention a few, recently there's been Scoop, Lust Stories, Delhi Crime, amongst many others, right? So when you build your slate, what is the kind of approach that you take keeping in mind these things? First of all, uh, good morning, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, thank you for being here to listen to this wonderful subject, great subject, I think, to talk about. I think, um, you know, the way we look at things is that it's a great privilege and a great responsibility to actually build out a slate of uh, titles and voices that actually resonate far and wide across the furthest corners of the world. So we're very intentional about ensuring there's diversity, there is uh, ample creativity, needless to say, and um, there is a mindfulness in the kind of subjects and you know, voices that we sort of curate, the topics that we put through. And, um, you know, as they say, <laughs> that when a woman stands for herself, she stands for all of womankind. So just with that thought, I think there are a lot of the titles that you mentioned, whether it's Scoop, whether it's Karina's Janeja, whether it is, you know, a happy, cheerful show like Mismatched. I think uh, all of these are stories of women who literally had no other choice. And that's definitely a compelling story to tell and a compelling story to experience. And of course, now we are looking to bring, you know, Hira Mandi, the big experience, which is a story of six powerful female characters, six powerful such stories to tell. And, um, you know, with SLB really putting this entire experience, this OTT experience, as I'd like to call it together, I think we can't wait for the world to sample it. Uh, so I think um, what the streaming medium has also done is actually taken subjects like female forward stories and made them central and commercial. And it's no longer sort of relegated to a audience type, you know, so with the success of stories like Scoop or Hira Mandi being made uh, the magnum opus that it is, I think these are stories and subjects and conversations that become absolutely central. And I think that's the way we are approaching this subject. And it's such an exciting time for all of us to be a part of this change, right? Uh, so before we go ahead and talk some more on this panel, I would like for all of you to watch as what is being hailed as one of the most sought after series of 2024. So before we take this ahead, can I please request you all to play the first look of Hira Mandi?
is really spectacular. I have to say, everyone I speak to about Hira Mandi, and when if I ask them what's the one series you're really looking forward to, Hira Mandi is right on top. So big congratulations for creating, I think, all the correct buzz and excitement around Hira Mandi. Guys, can we please hear it once again for Hira Mandi? Tane, before I take my next question to Sanakshi, I think we all sitting here would love to know about this collaboration with someone like Sanjalila Vansali and Netflix. Well, what can I say? It, it's, we found home with each other. Yes. And it's, it's a collaboration that we are so proud of, so excited about. And I think the potential for all of us, you know, as, as Indians, as people associated with content and stories, the potential is so immense. Uh, that we, we're almost sort of quaking with excitement, if I may, uh, be slightly melodramatic after that uh, <laughs> teaser. Uh, you know, we're really, really, really looking forward to bring it to everybody and pretty much like this is India's gift to the world. That's the way we're looking at it. It is uh, the power of Netflix with the absolute, uh, you know, bespoke creation of SLB. Every story that he tells is so unique, so distinct. But I think in this one, uh, is a story that he held close, we all know, for many, many years, 13 plus years. And I think he was, it is a, it is a show that he wasn't, you know, convinced that can be a film. It is a world that needed a deeper immersion, uh, and therefore the series format fits it beautifully. And um, I think uh, he's tasted blood, if I may speak yeah. on his behalf. <laughs> he's enjoyed the process so much. Uh, that he was, I mean, just sharing a short anecdote. He was supposed to direct only the first episode, but I think he's directed every wow. single frame, and Sonakshi would speak to that better than me. He's, he's been immersed neck deep. Of course, he has a wonderful team who backs him and puts the magic together. But in terms of, uh, you know, just the way, the format, the story, the partnership between the two uh, companies has come together, it's pretty much been seamless. He's been immersed in it for the last two years and we're, you know, ready and raring to go. We're also waiting for it and we're so glad that Sunakshi, you're a part of this gift to the world, <laughs> right? Uh, Sunakshi, Hira Mandi promises to bring forth narratives and women's stories about really resilient and strong women and you're a big part of it, right? So when you look at this shift about portrayal of women on screen and what kind of a role do you think an actor like yourself has to play in driving this shift? I think for me, it's the best time to be an actor today, a female actor today in, in uh, the industry. And there's so many more openings now with the advent of OTD coming in, you know, um, doing the kind of work that they're doing, putting out the content that they're putting. More roles are being written for strong female characters. And I'm so, so happy to be a part of that. Uh, with this also, I think it was, it was, I, Sanjay sir and me have been trying to collaborate for many, many years now, and I'm so glad that it happened on Hira Mandi, because he's the kind of director who really, um, how do I say this? The way he portrays his women on screen, I think nobody else is able to do that. And he's just got a very different vision for it. In spite of it being, you know, all these magnum opuses that he's made, um, really big budgets, all of that, he really, takes good care of how all his female characters are portrayed on screen. And that is something that I really, really appreciate about him. In Hira Mandi, we have six different women with six different stories to tell. And each one has been given the kind of importance that every actor craves for, the kind of respect that every actor craves for from their director. So to be a part of something like this, it's been tremendous, to say the least. Uh, and I'm really glad that, you know, this is his first uh, OTT outing because nothing about Sanjali Rabansali is not OTT. <laughs> and the fact that, you know, we're going global with Netflix, being able to reach out to so many people, this is something that everybody should be able to watch. And I'm so glad to be a part of it. So what was it like working with, you know, being on the set with six women. What was that like for you? It was fantastic. I think <laughs> we should have more women in every film. Uh, it was just way smoother as opposed to what people would uh, think or, you know, by what they've been told, women don't get along. I think here we're just women who are uh, 
helping each other up and being there for each other, being good co-actors to each other, supporting each other, and it was the best kind of environment to be on a set like that. And the kind of women that are in this show, they are all wonderful actors. You only learn from them, you only grow with them. So it was a beautiful experience, actually. The sets, I'm sure, felt very empowering as well. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. In fact, Sanjasa's team uh, is his backbone. And I can tell you that majority of them are women. <laughs> so <laughs> it was just, uh, the girls were running the world. And it was fantastic to be a part of it. Yeah, I'm so glad we can't wait to watch what you guys have made. Uh, Tane, coming back to you. You know, Sanjalila Bansali is known for his portrayal of strong female characters. And, you know, we've seen that film after film. Uh, what are the kind of factors that influences Netflix's decision to back such an ambitious project like Hira Mandi? I think uh, first and foremost, it is really about what is it from, you know, the deep uh, coffers of Indian culture, Indian storytelling, what are the stories that we actually want to uh, put out there for our audiences. And then if our audiences love it, like we always say, it, you, it has to work in India for it to work globally, right? We all know the power of each of uh, Mr. Bansali's films. You know, they've all left like a legacy behind them. They're all points of...